Hello guys, welcome to Daily Tech. Today we're going to be looking at the One UI 5.1 update. Now, while the S23 Ultra launch video One UI 5.1, the S22 series and the other devices had to wait for about a week or so to get this update. And when the update came, it came in a huge size. After I finished installing this massive or gigantic update, a call came in and when I picked the call, I noticed something. I noticed that my call status was no more at the top of this phone but it was at the top left which looked really nice and neat and to me that was a beautiful way to start because I just went oh now I've got to see everything that has been new with this device. If you have a bunch of pictures that you try to send to someone and you're having some limitations on sending those pictures, for example, WhatsApp only allow you to send a certain amount of pictures, you'll now be able to send these pictures in form of a PDF, right? So you will need to go into your gallery, um, choose the pictures you want to send and click on create and then click on save as PDF. Now, this feature will most likely not be activated for you. To get this feature going, you will need to go into your gallery um, go into your settings and then scroll to the bottom and tap on about gallery in your about gallery You will see the version number you will need to tap on this version number 11 times which will then activate Gallery labs so you go back out scroll down into the bottom and jump into gallery labs and then toggle on Save as PDF and you now have that ability in your gallery if you wanted to take screenshots the current method is to use your power button and the volume down button but with this latest update you're not able to take screenshots by pulling down the quick setting style the way to get this into your quick setting tile would be to pull down your quick settings tap on the three dots tap on edit button and then drag and drop the screenshot toggle to allow for easier access at some point samsung removed media output not sure why they took it away but it is back and what media output allows you to do is it allows you to switch your sounds between the Bluetooth devices and your phone. So for example, if you're playing the media on your device, you can switch the sounds between your phone and your Bluetooth device. So you can send the sound to two different Bluetooth devices and get them to work at the same time. I actually tried it and it worked really well. Samsung has provided us with two new battery widgets. To access them, you will need to go to your home screen press and hold, tap on widgets and then tap on battery. With this, you get two options. The battery widget shows you the battery level of your connected Galaxy devices from your phone to your Galaxy Buds, to your Galaxy Watch, to your S Pen and other connected Galaxy devices. As you can see, if you have two Galaxy Buds on at the same time, it will show the battery level for both of them. You get to choose what devices show on the widget by tapping and holding on the widget, tapping on settings, and then choosing the devices to show. The caveat here is Galaxy Watch 3 and some earlier Bluetooth devices will not be compatible, which means my lovely watch here will not be compatible. While using the selfie camera, Samsung has now given us a color tone option which allows us to adjust the colors between natural and bright option so all you have to do would be to open up your selfie camera tap on the wand icon which is on the top right tap on color tone and adjust accordingly and while we are talking about the camera samsung has now added a raw mode to the camera option which allows you to take high quality images without any processing which which is perfect for those of us who want to add the final touch later on through editing, which Samsung also allows us to do directly through the RAW app. So Samsung is finally also providing astrophotography mode, especially for the S22 series users via the RAW camera app. And you will get the option to enable sky guide that allows you to pinpoint the locations of the constellation. The minimum amount of time you need to take for a picture is four minutes. So you will definitely be needing a tripod. Samsung has drastically improved the search function in the gallery. When you tap on the search bar, you get various options of searching via words, via people's faces, the type of shots, the documents, the things, are they a group of people, are they selfies, are they portraits? It is insane, but that has been done. So now we're going to change levels and talk about multi-windows. Previously, if I wanted to minimize my app, 
by dragging in from the top left or right. I will need to go into the Good Luck app and use the Multistar app to toggle this function on. As you can see, I've toggled it off, but I'm still able to minimize by dragging it, dragging it in from the top left or right and expanding it back by dragging it back out to its corners. This is because Samsung has added this functionality directly without the need for an additional app like the Multistar or the Good Luck app. One of the other interesting things which I was so excited was the Bixby text to call which is now, now available in English. Um, if you've seen the previous videos and if you've tried using this feature which once it came to the Samsung device, I pretty much toggled it on even though it was only in Korean. Bixby text allows you to automatically answer and screen calls without the need to speak as your typed words are converted to speech for the caller and their spoken word is converted into text for you. It was previously in Cor only in Korean but we now have the English version which you will need to download by going into your phone settings, tapping on Big Speak Text to Call, tapping on Language and Voice and then tapping on the language pack and downloading this language pack and once that is sorted you now have the Big Speak Text to Call in English. And ready to go. As you know, we've all been making a big fuss about not being able to change the folder where you want your screenshot or your screen recording to be saved. So we now get this option to change the file, the save folders for these items. And the way to do this would be to go into your settings, go to advanced features, tap on screenshot or screen recorder, and you're now able to use the filling options to choose where you would like to save them. This has been the update which you get on your One UI 5.1 device if you use the S22 series and some of this will also apply to other series devices. Now there will be some other features which will be on the S22 Ultra which have not yet come to the S22 series so for those of us using S22 series we're just gonna have to wait and see if it comes down to us. Make sure you have a lovely one and I will catch you in the next one. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day.